Ah, oh, more stuff I didn't talk about. Um, if you want to use this for actual sequencing application, then obviously it's actually a, an active low output. So each of these, uh, the the active cell will be saturated. So this point will be low, and so it's, it's one one cold rather than a one hot output. Uh, alternatively, you can build the entire thing upside down. If you flip all the circuits the other way, then it'll be one hot. Um, which, uh, which might be advantageous, or else you can use the current syncing uh, for your application, or you can have you know, ITL inverters or, or something to flip the signal around whichever way you want. Uh, it's not particularly difficult to, to switch from one you know, current sync, current source um, kind of RTL or TTL logic. Uh, as far you know, frequency division is something, obviously the amount of, you can use it as a counter, so you can have a, a decade of them and have decade um, cascaded counters, you could cascade them together and build a clock, dividing by 12s and 6s uh, and 2s and, and 50s or whatever, uh, however many transistors you have patience to uh, to build up. Of course you can combine it with the um, the staircase generator, which was one of our other projects, to, uh, to pre-scale, say, the mains down to pulse per second and then uh, count that using this. You could also build a clock um, directly using these, uh, the staircase generator. So you could use the staircase generator, generator to be a divider as well as driving um, you know, analog meters for the readout, although obviously you'd need, uh, with the lower frequencies uh, like minutes and uh, hours, you'd, you'd have problems with leakage and you would need either incredibly low leakage devices to hold the charge in the capacitors um, which is it's certainly doable with MOSFETs and, uh, and very low current JFETs etc it's it would be a bit of a challenge but you could uh, you know you add a JFET or MOSFET follower to uh, directly drive your metered system it would be an interesting project to build only for the complete insanity of doing it that way a completely analog clock um, you know, built with a few transistors and a bunch of capacitors, it would be pretty impressive. Uh, it'd be very difficult to make accurate, but uh, it would run. I mean, it's digital, it's accurate, but it would drift uh, a little bit between each pulse, which would be it'd be a bit interesting to build. Anyway, um, what what else can you use this for? Obviously, you can use this for um, music sequences. Although one thing I was thinking about doing was going to be a project, but it uh, turned out not to be for well for various reasons, mainly because I did other stuff. No other reason. Um, I was going to build a, a bunch of monostables linked together, adjustable for uh, you know the period of the monostables active high period, so that um, you chain the monostables, you inject a pulse, or you can ring them up so they they loop around and, and you know do your sequence. And each uh, each step would be the the duration of the note, and then there'd be uh, a, a current steered out of each of the the monostables into a uh, current controlled oscillator of some description to actually produce the tone. Very simple to build like uh, two or three transistors per cell and then uh, an another couple of transistors for the oscillator you could again use something very similar to this the old uh, the old four layer device um, would be quite useful because it would give you well it give you a, a ramp generator or a um, uh, triangle in you know, a sawtooth waveform which uh, has all the harmonics in it not just the odd ones like a square wave does which is always useful for music applications you can uh, filter it and uh, shape it a little bit more easily you can also uh, you can use have envelope shapers driven off uh, each of the transitions as it steps between the sequences if you want it to have you know some attack sustain decay profile to make it sound more like a musical instrument would again would be an interesting project uh, that someone could build Again, triple fives and and obviously 4017 is probably an easy way to do it. But uh, you know, transistors is always fun. I like doing things with the the minimum possible bits and pieces. It's also much more uh, obvious how it works and uh, a bit of a bit of a challenge to build stuff the old-fashioned way. Of course, nowadays you'd probably just use a microcontroller for the whole thing and do it all in software DSP style. But uh, where's the fun in that? It's always more fun uh, torturing the universe in interesting ways rather than uh, with a bunch of numbers. I mean, I have a lot of respect for the bunch of numbers and obviously my day job is all about software and uh, I vaguely remember my signal processing and could probably do it that way too, but it's uh, again electronics, you know, abusing electrons and making them do stuff for you, always fun. Alrighty, um, that's uh, two extra videos for the one day. I think that's uh, possibly 
enough. <laughs> How much can we talk about this circuit and similar circuits like it? It, it, is, uh, it is particularly useful and uh, here's a whole bunch of ideas that I've just given you. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if anyone makes anything out of them. Alrighty, see ya.